in this tutorial I'll show you how to create these liquid splashes using After Effects new tapered shape strokes. Hi, my name is Manuel, I'm a freelance motion designer. You might want to download the project file to follow along or simply play with it. Now, let's dive in. We create a new shape layer, get rid of the fill, change the stroke color to white or whatever color you like. Set the stroke width to around 100 pixels. Let's grab the pen tool and draw a line from the left part of the screen to the middle. Alright, let's dive into the attributes here. In version 17.1 of After Effects there's actually some new stuff. In stroke there are two new attributes, taper and waves. It helps us to easily turn this boring line into a sexy splash. How? First of all, let's tweak the end length to 100%. Then we'll ease the end a little bit to round it out. Um, next, we'll tweak the start length to get a round shape here on the left and ease it out as well. Now we'll add waves, N not too much, maybe around 6% and increase the wavelength quite a bit to around 200%. Then let's change the face a bit until the waves have the right position. Quite sexy already, let's add rough and edges to make the shape more random. Set the border to around 12, then raise edge sharpness to around 2.4. The scale to around 200 and let's set the complexity to 1. Nice! Let's animate the sexy splash by adding my favorite animator trim paths to the shape. Set two keyframes for the start and end value. Each should be 100. 7 frames later, the start is down to 0%. The end value is around 75%. Another 3 frames later, the end reached 0% as well. Looks quite strange still, so let's animate the stroke width. Set a keyframe at the beginning and set the value to 10. We start small. After 9 frames, it has reached its max value, in this case around 100. One frame later, it's at 0. Bad already. The ending looks a bit weird still though. Let's animate the start length. At 7 frames it's the value we want it to have. Here it's 11%, at 10 frames it's 100. Finally we add easy ease in to all keyframes. Let's name the layer drop. <laughs> Cause you really should name your layers. Let's curve that linear line a little to make it look more natural. Next step is to duplicate this layer several times, adjust the path and create a splash. Quite a bit of work, need some music for that. I randomized the stroke width and trim path animation of each splatter and moved some of the layers one or two frames to the right for a different start point of the animation. Next, we'll add this kind of smoke ring to the splash. Therefore, we create a white solid and add a circular mask. Now we'll scale it up along with the movement of our strokes by animating the mask expansion. Start very small and add frames later scale it up quite a bit. Then we duplicate the mask which we subtract from the upper mask. Somewhere in the middle we want the lower mask expansion to be much smaller. 
Then we add a keyframe for mask feather and change it to around 85 pixels. And add rough and edges to the solid. Set the border to around 20, the scale to 200. And the complexity to 1. Let's play with the expansion values, the feather and rough edges settings until we have the result we think looks good. The higher the edge sharpness, the less blurry the shapes look. Let's go through frame by frame and adjust the settings. Looks nice, right? One last thing. It already looks a lot like cell animation, but to get even closer you could add an adjustment layer and posterize time to a frame rate of 12 frames per second. How do you like the new taper shape strokes? Was well, about time for Adobe to add that, right? Let me know in the comments below. On the left side I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching, hope that tutorial was useful for y'all. See you next time guys, bye!